Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to use Fusion 360 and Ultimaker Cura in your 3D printing workflow to quickly and easily make 3D printed parts. Before we get started, if you're not familiar with Fusion 360, I would recommend watching our previous video on getting started with Fusion 360. In this previous video, we used Fusion 360 to quickly create this box with this odd looking stand from scratch and now we'd like to get it sent to the 3D printer. So to do this, um, in Fusion 360, it's actually surprisingly simple. Once you've got your model, all we need to do is actually export this to an STL file. So to do that, I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to click on Export. And now I'm going to pick, instead of an Autodesk Fusion 360 file, I'm going to just click on the drop-down and select STL. And what I need to do is, now let's go ahead and put this in a location on my local hard drive. Maybe I'll just put this in the temporary folder. Hit Save and all the settings will be ready to go and now when I hit export what's interesting is this uh, is actually going to take uh, a little bit of translation in the cloud so it's going to have to do a little bit of uh, processing on the server side and we're gonna have to sit here and wait for it to finish before it kicks out an STL file that we can use so let's give this a while and we'll be back in a second once it gives us an STL file of this box all right, we're back and it looked like that completed. So if I go ahead and click on Show in File Explorer, we should be able to, let me drag it over to this screen. We see that the widget that we made uh, in Fusion 360 was successfully exported as an STL file. And that's super helpful because now what we can do is let's just fire up Ultimaker Cure or whatever your slicing software is. Uh, I'll drag it over here to overlay. And let me go back and grab that STL. And all we need to do is literally just drag and drop it onto our build plate. And there we are. Here is our file that we've got ready to be sliced. So here's the STL that was exported from Fusion 360. So all we need to do is just go ahead and make whatever changes you would like to um, your uh, slicing software here so we can change the layer thickness or do whatever you'd like and basically I'll just go ahead and slice this and once it slices it gives me an estimate of how long it'll take and how much material or filament it's going to use I'm just going to go ahead and hit save to file let's go ahead and put that in the same location and uh, you can see my printer is a uh, Creality CR10 uh, mini here so it appends that to the file name but it will basically output a g-code file which is what you're looking for so I'll go ahead and hit save and again open the folder and now what we've got is we've got this g-code file that I can now move on to my micro SD card and then walk it up to the printer to get it started so let's go ahead and do that and let's see how the print goes All right, so after about three and a half hours of printing, you see we've got a physical version of that model that we made in Fusion 360 and then sliced up in Ultimaker Cura. So with that being said, I hope this video shows a reasonable workflow of how to get models designed in Fusion 360 and then off to a 3D printer. If you like the video, I also hope you would consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, if you just scroll down a little ways and click on that subscribe button, it really does help me continue making these. And we're going to have lots of other topics in the future talking about 3D printing and Fusion 360 and other related uh, issues. So um, with that being said, I hope I'll catch you at one of these future discussions. So until then, I guess I'll just sign off and say talk to you later. Bye.